快抓不住了。When you visit East Malaysia, there's a ton to write home about, from lush rainforests and lofty mountains to thriving cultures. Located on Borneo, one of the three biggest islands in the world, East Malaysia gives you a much more wild, natural experience compared with the rest of Malaysia. This week, we're exploring mountains with a local who knows his tropical fruits, Ah Sing. He's taking Victor and the rest of our crew on a wild off-road adventure. All right, so we're here in Sabah. And uh, apparently, we're gonna see a pomelo uh, pomelo plantation. So, uh, Ashim here. <laughs> so, predictions time, everyone. On a scale of one to five, how much of a wild ride do you think we're in for? <laughs> <laughs> if you thought going up this mountain would be easy, well, guess what? You're wrong. The road goes along cliffs and across rivers, if you can even call it a road. But where we're going, they don't really need them. Near the top, there's a viewpoint where you can see all the way to the nearby town of Tanom. It's a beautiful place to take a breather, and after that rocky road, those pomelos better be worth it. But pomelos aren't the only fruits that grow in the mountains of Sabah. You'll also find durian, guava, jackfruit, pineapple, dragon fruit, and avocados. I mean, these are not even ripe, and they're like three times the size of what you see in Europe, so. I wonder how big they're gonna get. This is quite quite big, huh? Eight hundred grams avocados. <laughs> Look at these fruits. <laughs> but enough talking about fruits. Let's try those pomelos for ourselves. Then you, like, showed a little bit of a leg and leg, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The one that runs runs the leg, just like that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fun fact: the pomelo is actually the original citrus fruit that oranges and grapefruits descended from. It's also the biggest citrus fruit, and just one pomelo gives you enough vitamin C for four days. Here in Southeast Asia, people have been enjoying its sweet, juicy, and rich flavors for centuries. If you come to East Malaysia, you'll get to try something bigger, sweeter, and juicier than an orange in its native habitat, and you'll get to meet hardworking farmers like Ah Sing and experience one hell of a ride along the way. Next week, we'll meet the indigenous people of this area, the Marut, who used to practice head hunting. But don't worry, no one gets hurt anymore. They do, however, still practice their warrior dances. If you don't want to miss it, click on our logo at the bottom right to subscribe, and then click on the little bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.